Hi, Rick Leinecker here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Forensic Toolkit, which is part of the free tools that Foundstone makes available. To start with, I'm going to go to foundstone.com. And you'll see a link here that says Free Tools and Resources. And we're going to go right into Forensic Tools and select the Forensic Toolkit right there and download this tool now and I believe there's a you have to just agree to everything okay here it is down here and it's the zip file and I've actually already extracted this to save you the pain of watching me do that as it turns out I extracted it to my C drive under FTK. So my path is C colon backslash FTK. You can see it up here. Now one of the things you need to realize is we need to be in administrative mode um, for this to work right. So I'm going to make a desktop shortcut. Right click. New shortcut. CMD.exe and here I'm going to say command prompt. Okay. Now, in order to run that as administrator, all I have to do is right-click and say Run as Administrator. And here, I'm going to set my font larger so you have an easier time seeing it. And I'm going to suggest that you do that if you're ever doing a presentation such as this. And that will be a little bit easier for people to read. Now, remember, my path is um, C... FTK, and if I do a dir, you can see um, all the utilities there. Okay, so the first utility I'm going to talk about is A Find. And if you simply just type A Find, it gives you some hints as to how to use it. But it's not always that clear. Um, what it's going to do is find the uh, last access time for any uh, files that you specify. And this can actually be really helpful if you're trying to find out, say, um, which files might have been accessed uh, recently or edited or um, looked at or, or so forth. And this kind of gives you a clue as far as uh, you know who might be messing with some files. Okay. So I say A, find. And if I don't put a directory, it will just use the current directory. And I'm going to search for any files that have been accessed within the last, say, 14 days. Okay? And actually it shows that all of the files in this directory have been accessed in the last 14 days. Um, how about the last one day? Okay, all of them. Um, I can do seconds in the last, say, 10 seconds. All of them, because I looked at them all. But if you, if you let it sit for a while, Let's try the last second. None of them. Okay, or none of them in the last 10 seconds, I guess. But uh, this gives you a way to, to just find out uh, which files have been accessed uh, recently. So let's go ahead and do another dir and find out what other fun utilities we have to work with. Okay, there's a utility called Audited. And if you just type it, it doesn't do anything. But if you add a slash question mark, it should, gives you help. Now, this is going to find files that are being audited currently. And uh, my computer does not have the audit stuff installed, so um, I can't turn it on. But on a lot of file servers, they audit different files to make sure and to keep track of who's messing with them. And uh, if I had that turned on, this would find them. Okay. But for most home computers, this is really not going to be very, uh, very useful. Okay. Okay, the next utility we're going to take a look at is uh, Dackle Check. And if you just type Dackle Check, it gives you a little bit of help. What this is going to do is, is check the um, ACL, which stands for Access Control List, of files and show you which files on the drive have uh, allows and denies. 
for instance, you can deny read, you can deny write, you can deny really almost any write. So if I say DACL, check, and I'm going to say dash D, dump all DACLs, um, it'll show you a list of any files that have allow and deny. Now, most files don't typically have allow and deny, but you can see that some of these are actually set in this directory, which I have done previously. So the value of this utility is you can find out which files have had their um, access control is changed. Okay, if you just want to see the statistics uh, for a single file, you can use this file stat utility. And when you first type it, it gives you help. So I'm going to give it a file name now, afind.exe, and it gives me a pretty verbose um, idea of what's going on, file size, all of my creation and modification and access times, um, all of the security attributes of this file and so forth. It's actually pretty uh, complete. Okay, so I hit a file. Um, and I'm going to use this hfind utility to see if I can find it. Ah, there it is. So hfind is going to show you uh, files that might be hidden. You can get help if you just type slash question. Okay. You'll see a utility called hunt and that actually is going to look at um, shares on a server See, I have a file server here, but you'll see it returns an error, and it's just because this particular network does not um, support that. And the last one I want to talk about is sfind. sfind is going to tell you if someone has a, an alternate stream function um, enabled, and this is a way that uh, sometimes hackers and people can sort of trap your information. There's nothing on this computer, but just if you just type sfind, um, it'll show you anything that's going on in your um, that particular computer. That's strange. Anyway, that's it for a basic rundown on these uh, forensic toolkit uh, utilities. Good luck.